Hi, hi, hi. How you doing? I'm good. I hardly ever wear heels, and I was like, if I fall down, oh no, I gotta go home. Hey, it's all, <laughs> it's all good. We're so excited that you were here. Uh, how were your holidays? Oh, the holidays. They were so good. It feels like it was just Halloween. Yes, you know? it does. It does. Isn't that weird? It how just, just kind of fast forward so like that? Fast. It's very weird. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh boy. You know, and this is like, honestly, this is a, probably the hardest week for people, right? Because this is where people got to really focus in on the resolutions that they made. And yeah. Stuff like absolutely. that. Absolutely. I don't make resolutions. I got ADHD. I cannot remember what I ate yesterday. <laughs> so if I'm like writing something down, I'm like, I'm gonna do it. It's like, will you? Right, right. <laughs> so don't set yourself up for failure. That's how I live. I, well, well, okay, wait, setting up for failure. I, I read somewhere that you got drunk before you went to the gym. No, 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 got drunk at the gym. You got drunk at the gym. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I have this like emergency bottle of vodka in my car because you never know when the occasion will arise where you gotta be drunk. So, so these people are like, uh, does she have a problem? No, I'm fun. So <laughs> it was just in this like water bottle and I was late to the gym because I'm late to everything. Mm -hmm. And he was like, run up the stairs a couple times because apparently that's exercise. And I did it twice and I was like, oh boy, that was exercise. Mm -hmm. I was like, I need water. So I drank the water and, you know, squeezed it because I was sure. like, I got to quench this thirst. Yeah. Um, and it like shot in my mouth and I was like, you've gone too far, you've got to swallow. <laughs> and I was like, I'm so sorry, that was vodka. Uh, and he was like, what? And then I had to explain my emergency bottle, you right, know. Right, right. Uh, and then I had to go home. Yeah. Oh, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. a little bit of a mix up there. But look, I know that, you, that you, uh, you enjoy exercise. I know you love pole dancing. Oh, I love it so much. Yeah, do you? Yes. What's it's, your favorite part about it? My favorite part is like, it's impressive. So like mm -hmm. whenever I twirl around and drop in a split, people are like, ooh, well, yeah. okay. she's flexible. <laughs> well, yeah, because you also po you post a lot of videos on, the see, like this one, yeah, like a oh, lot yeah. of videos yeah. online. Well, you, you're missing, you're right? missing the show. I see, oh, no, I see. <laughs> you know, hitting the split. Now, I got to ask, too, because you post these videos. Are people usually uh, supportive? Uh, honestly, they're too supportive. <laughs> They're just like, you're brave. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you're in a bikini, moving. Oh, the bravery. And I'm like, guys, <laughs> it's not that serious. <laughs> I mean, it's still really impressive though, right? Yes, yeah. but there's like support and too much support. Too much. When you have too much support, you get overwhelmed and you're like, what if I disappoint, you know? Right. So it's just a nice little thumbs up is good, yeah. you know? Well, honestly, because also it, it's really because you're involved in a lot, right? You host four podcasts, yes. not one but four. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, you got one on dating. Uh-huh. Um, so have you been dating a lot? I have been dating a lot. And let me tell you, you're married, right? I am, God yes. bless, what a treat for you. Absolutely, <laughs> yes, I wouldn't survive in this oh time. Yeah, dating yeah, in LA is hellish. Is it? It is awful, <laughs> it is terrible. Oh, I don't wish it on my worst enemy, but, okay? But is it, is it easier during the holidays or, or harder? I think it's easier to hook up during the holidays. You know, okay. you go home, you're sleeping in a twin bed. You're like, let me find somebody with a bigger bed. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yo. And then, okay, speak, also speaking of beds, on another podcast. Speaking you, of beds. Speaking bed. of beds, yeah. <laughs> on another podcast, yeah, you, you, you kind of explain that you don't like to sleep naked at all. No, I don't get it. And no shade if anybody here sleeps naked, but like, don't you have to like wash your sheets more, right? Like, I mean, I don't think the sheets are going up in my but like, I feel like. <laughs> I feel. I feel. <laughs> Y'all see, I got immediately panic. I didn't know where to look. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you're a nice gentleman, but like, you wash your underwear after every wear, so if you're sleeping naked, I mean, everyone's like, does she sleep like in a split? No. Uh, <laughs> I just don't get it. If it's such in the body, you gotta wash it often. I'm trying to change my sheets like once a week. That's good. Right? Or am I dirty? Someone clap. So Thank somebody you. clap for it. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Now, you went to the, like, you just recently went to the Emmys. Yes. Now, tell us a little bit about that. Oh, boy. What a dream to lose to RuPaul every year. It is my favorite tradition I've ever had. <laughs> uh, like, I just, I get to dress up. 
I get to attend an event. People get to stare at me. I get my picture taken. Yeah, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Right? Incredible dressing. Oh, Christian Siriano is custom. Uh, my stylist, Marco Monroe, he's so incredible. Mm -hmm. My hair and makeup, they really just killed it. Oh my God, I could stare at myself all day. <laughs> uh, but it was so fun to just be so beautiful Absolutely. and watch RuPaul say thank you, you know? <laughs> but I gotta, you know, I gotta say this too. As, as, as much as you're involved in, doesn't it also feel good to be rewarded for really exploring your passions. I mean, oh, you're doing yeah. podcasts, you host Nailed It, you, you, got, you got a new show coming out. How good does that feel? It feels really good. I feel like a lot of people are like, it's just an honor to be nominated. And you're like, you're lying, okay? But like, no, <laughs> truly, it's an honor to be nominated yeah. with like, these incredible people who host Absolutely. that I've looked up to for you, you know? It's Absolutely. really, it's really awesome. Absolutely. Well, listen, we got to take a break for a second. We'll be back with more of Nicole after this. We are back with Nicole Rodden, and that was a clip from your new show, Grand Crew. Please tell us everybody what it's about. Uh, so it's a comedy on NBC about black people. No, I'm kidding. Hey. It's, uh, <laughs> I would say it's like Friends meets Cheers meets Living Single, and it's just uh, a group of like young professionals living, trying to navigate their way through love, mm -hmm. And I think it's really funny, and I think people are really going to love it. Oh, yeah. We can't wait to see it. And we also... Thank you. I understand that, uh, that this part was actually written with you in mind, right? Yeah, my character's name is Nikki, which is pretty close to my government name, sure. Nicole. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my friend Phil Jackson, I used to improvise with him in New York at this place called the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater. Um, Ten years ago, we were just like doing improv in this dirty, dingy basement. And if someone was like, hey, you're going to do a network TV show with this person, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> you're on crack. Um, <laughs> but it happened, yeah, you know? Yeah, so yeah. it's yeah. really great. Love it, love it. We can also clap for that. Yeah, yeah that's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing right there. Also, we got to talk about the new season of Wipeout. Yeah. Like, how fun is that? And are you ever tempted to just go and run the courses? Okay, so when we first started shooting, I said, please let me do it. And they mm -hmm. were like, Okay, maybe they were thinking about it. And then right before we started shooting, I dislocated my ankle going down the stairs. Okay. So, so. I don't think my body was made to do an obstacle course <laughs> designed for you to fail, you know? <laughs> so I didn't end up getting to do it. Yeah, it also looks like, it looks so exciting. I, and when I'm here on Game of Games, I'm like, please let me go up there and do all of those You're things. worth too much money. Okay. So yeah. I don't so, think so you done, should. So don't do that at all. Yeah, okay, gotta bet. take care of this body. Understood, understood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and speaking of games, when we come back, we're gonna play a game with Nicole right after this.